how do we do that order without planning? You need smart tools mm -hmm. and you need corporations, good corporations. Okay. In 2015, uh, the first corporation contract was signed between <laughs> Hafen City University, between the MIT Media Lab and the city of Hamburg. And uh, we had plenty of challenges uh, right at the front door, building the Hafen City, Europe's biggest con urban construction project. Admittedly, a challenge of a rich northern city, but uh, pre-designing the Olympic facilities on the Grasbrook, just around the corner, uh, that was a big issue and that needed a special approaches, Ariel, I guess. I mean, just to show you how dedicated we were to these projects, here is Kent jumping over the fence in the Grasbrook site in order to get a better view of, of the site. This is how we do things at, uh, at MIT. But of course, everything sort of changed toward the end of uh, 2015 when the city of Hamburg, its residents, is of course government, realized that nearly 80,000 refugees are projected to arrive to the city by the end of that year. These are 500 people every day in the trains, in the buses, looking for a place to restart their life, and the city had to find out a solution for that. These were the conditions they were granted at the time. This is better than what they had on the way from the Middle East and North Africa, but it's not something you can sustain for more than two or three weeks. So by the end of 2015, the mayor of Hamburg gets a slap on the wrist by the local opposition telling him, you are not to pursue that Olympic Games. What you need to focus on now is really that refugee problem. Two weeks after, he shows up unattended in our lab at, at uh, the city science lab here at Athens City University, gives us three months very short budget and tells us you guys have to come up with a solution for that refugee problem. Now this is the city science lab in January 2016. Everybody in this picture is the lab. We just established, we literally hang the sign. But that was really an extreme situation that under the amazing leadership of Professor Geza Zimmer and the amazing team here at Huffington City University, we copy pasted everything we know about CityScope from MIT here to the city of Hamburg, and with German precision, exactly three months after we started the Finding Places project, you can see the mayor laying down the first uh, Lego brick. This project was a state-of-the-art, unique community engagement and public participation effort to bring people together first to understand where the refugees are, what is their situation now in the city, on top of that CityScope platform, but then to also co-create and really find those locations using the tools. The tools were reactive, they told the people where to put those housing and what can they actually build. Talking about results, the citizens themselves have identified 161 places which could accommodate 23,000 refugees. Apart from these impressive numbers, finding places was a kind of social catalyst for the city of Hamburg. It helped to avoid that not in my backyard feeling, and it helped to make Hamburg a welcoming place, a place that can really think and have the mentality of, yes, we can, of course. This project is currently being cited worldwide as a success story for the usage of those socio-technical platforms like the CityScope for the creation of not just regular community engagement, but really in extreme cases. And that was just the beginning, uh, the beginning of the cooperation of our laboratories. In the meantime, we have discovered a number of uh, challenges on a global scale, but also in the local context. Here we have the Port City model, a simulation of how tourists transfer from the urban centers to the harbor area. We are doing this with agent-based modeling. And we are back at the Grassbrook area again. We are expecting a commission from the Hafen City to support the upcoming urban design competition with a new intelligent simulation tool. And for this project, we're learning a lot of new things. One of them is that you can actually use the ladder instead of jump over the fence when you want to enter the Grassbrook site. Uh, but we're actually learning much more. We're looking into rebuilding, recreating the CityScope platform from the ground up so it could fit the needs, the special unique needs of the future projects, especially the Grassbrook one, but any other challenge that the CityScope platform is facing. Our two labs, the Huffington City University and MIT, are working together as a team, as a network, in order to recreate that platform, that tool, and we're really, really waiting to uh, be able to deploy it in the Grassbrook site and in other locations. We're looking into many different technologies and many different aspects, such as uh, you know, AI, machine learning, and other tools. But I think that beyond all of that sophistication, I guess the most important thing is that this brick can actually break walls and change mindsets. If you want to try it yourself, here you go. <laughs> Good reaction. Thank you.